Hello everybody and welcome to this video where today we are going to discuss what authors can write. Now this video is being done because I watched a great video by Bookish who is an amazing mamma jamma. Um, I'll leave a link down below or put a thing up or whatever like you can see his video He's been putting out some amazing shit lately. So definitely Go give him a fucking sub if you haven't yet, but I guess this is a topic that has been going on um, I'm guessing since the whole Horror tube thing's been going on. Maybe it has nothing to do with each other, but who fucking knows? Uh, but I guess um, Ollie did a video on this too. I haven't watched that one. Um, I, I, Bookish's video is the only one I've seen on it. But I wanted to kind of weigh in a little bit here. Um, I feel like a lot of the stuff I'm going to say is going to sound very similar to his video. Um, but I'm going to try to hit some things that um, I don't think he went into. So, um, first and foremost... I believe that every person on the fucking planet should be able to create any kind of art they want without the fear of the government or society um, doing anything horrible to them for doing that. Okay? Um, I have an interview with Andrew Whitstedt coming up in a bit here where we talked a little bit about this and like I'm not a fan of book bans but I will say that a government book ban that's taking a book out of a school is horrible but it is a lot different than the book bans from like 60 years ago where if you wrote a book and maybe mailed it over state lines, you are going to be arrested and thrown in jail and there will be a trial about it. And anyone who sold that book would also be arrested. Okay, so it is a little different now than it used to be because regardless of whatever Ron DeSantis does, Amazon's still going to sell that book. What the actual conversation then becomes is people's access to certain books. And this is a conversation that I think is needed in the sense that, well, if I'm a taxpayer, I should have some kind of say in what books are being available to my children. But at the same time, a lot of the, the hoopla that went around Genderqueer when that book came out was bullshit. And a lot of the things that the media were told, like things like, oh, kids were able to access this book. This book was available to elementary school kids and all this other stuff. Um, the only thing that is relatively close to that was that it was at a high school and I don't even know if the book was available in the high school library or if just a kid at the high school had the book so the whole thing is propaganda and bullshit so with all that said that that's a different conversation for a different day and if you guys want me to do a video on what right do parents have as taxpayers to judge what books get carried in school libraries or public libraries? Let, let, let me know down below if you want me to talk about that, and that'll be something we talk about. But as far as what an author can and can't write, this is a completely different topic than that. And... As much as I may hate some of the things that some people write or just any art that people create, I am going to fight for your right to be able to create that art. 
even if I don't like it. Because that's the world we live in. That is the country that we live in. And those are the rights that all of us have as Americans. Okay? We have the right to freedom of free free speech and freedom of expression. Okay? So we should be able to fucking do that. The, um, I guess when things start getting muddy is when the art you create is physically harmful towards other people. So I would throw this into like filmmaking. Like if someone's doing, I don't know, like um, 120 days of Sodom in America, like I'm probably going to have a problem with that. If somebody's making um, Cannibal Holocaust in America, I might have a problem with that. But as far as the written word, like, like even though that extreme horror guy that all that shit was about, I might not like anything he has to write, and I might not like the thoughts that that motherfucker has in his head, but I'm still going to fight for his ability to create that art. And if I'm not mistaken, I don't even think he's American. So maybe it doesn't even fucking matter. Because in Bookish's video, he talked a little bit about... I can't remember what how he phrased it. It might have been authentic voices or something like that. And in his telling of it, he was talking about how... If he wants to read a memoir about somebody who, like, came from Africa to here and the struggles they had in that... Because it's a fucking memoir, it fucking better fucking well be fucking honest and truthful. And in that way, like, own voices or whatever you call it, like, I'm a firm believer of. But I also don't think you should tell somebody who is white that they can't write a book from the point of view of a black character or any other POC character. Or a straight guy not being able to write about an LGBTQ plus character. Okay? Like, we're creating art. We're writing fiction. And if the fiction we write is something that encompasses the world we see outside our window, we need to feel comfortable enough to write about everything we see and write it from our own perspective. Now, that might not be the best way to find out the history of black America, but it is important to show people that all sorts of different people exist. Like, how fucking boring is it if a white guy is just writing a book about a white guy and all of his interactions with other white guys? I mean, shit, there's like a thousand million books of that exact same topic already. Who fucking cares? As an artist, we should be able to write whatever we want to write based on anybody we're talking about to show what the world is really like. Okay? And, like, honestly, like, if you're doing a memoir, like, it better be a fucking memoir. And I know that, like, like Bookish was saying, like, yeah, people could write whatever they want, but if I want to find out about what life is like in Indonesia, I'm going to want to read a book by someone who was in Indonesia. And that makes perfect fucking sense. You don't have to read or like all the stuff that people do, but we should all agree that we all have the human fundamental right to be able to express our art in any way we want. Again, as long as it's not physically hurting anyone. I do have a fear that I, this doesn't even make sense but mainstream transgressive fiction will never exist again you know and that bums me out a little bit and what bums me out more is the transgressive fiction that does exist is stuff that you could only find that's like self-published and what makes that even worse is that those people try to push the fucking envelope as far as they can to be the most extreme when that's not even necessary 
you know? So, like, the takes I have in this, like, I, I have a feeling people are going to find a way to get pissed off about. I'm not trying to fucking hurt anyone's fucking feelings here or try to, like, cause any shit. I'm actually trying to fucking say that everyone has the right to create any way they want. And as far as I, as, or as long as I have a mouth to fucking shout about it, even if I think you're a fucking piece of shit, I'm going to fucking argue for you that you have the right to fucking write your shitty fucking crap, okay? Because that's just the kind of fucking guy I am. Um, I also am not a huge fan of going back and changing books from the past to try to make them more suitable for... Um, readers of today I think that is awful and if we can't see how far we've come as a civilization we're fucking doomed to repeat the same fucking shit so having all those books with horrible racist and homophobic and misogynistic shit in it is very important so we can see like how far we've come and some of you are like but you know like i want to be able to you know like read this book that i really liked as a kid to my kid read the fucking book and have a fucking conversation about how far we've come as a civilization if not find a new book it's not fucking hard you know so these are my thoughts on this let me know down below what you think go give brian a sub people should just be able to fucking write whatever the fuck they want to write regardless of how stupid and fucking asshole they are okay so type art everybody and i will talk to you all later i just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible anarchy crew and my followers on patreon i appreciate the hell out of you guys thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible you guys are awesome and if you'd like to join the crew of the anarchy crew just hit the join button beneath this video and if you'd like to become a member of my patreon you can run over to the link down below to do that as well thank you